Hi, and welcome to section 4A. This is just going to be an intro to search strategies. Um, uh, not too many slides, and then we'll move into the details in two more parts on uh, search engine um, optimization and uh, paid search. So again, just want to make sure everybody's aware that search is roughly half the digital budget and nothing really changes. This is the latest report that Forrester just put out, uh, 2014. Um, and again, showing that digital in total is going to be 35% of ad spend uh, by 2019, of which, again, as you can see, search engine marketing is roughly half of that budget. And again, why so much focus on search? Because it really has good ROI. It's easy to calculate the ROI and therefore it makes it very understandable in terms of what it brings to the table. So why is search still, it's still king when it comes to getting your information in front of highly targeted audiences at the precise moment when they're looking to gain more information? That's when search will reign supreme. So based on the keywords, what we're really learning, and especially over the past couple of years, tons of research on understanding the search funnel, which I'll show you in a second. Based on the search query, we really know where the person is in that the purchase funnel are they ready to buy or are they still doing a lot of investigation and research so here is an example of the search funnel you have the awareness the research and comparison and the buying phase so at the awareness phase the consumer is just beginning to venture out on the search engines to better understand who may offer the products what are the options they have etc so again it could be something like shoe stores plasma tv new computers just to see what is there then on the research side then you're getting into reviews ratings compare comparisons um, options things along those lines and then when you're ready to buy those are going to be your longer tailed keywords perhaps as well you know like uh, Ford SUV V8 all-wheel drive uh, GPS um, you know um, blue uh, midnight blue for example so you know if you're searching at that level you're probably ready to start buying and and getting ready to make that purchase so how does search advertising work well again a lot of people do have difficulty understanding the different parts of search engine marketing you have seo and you have ppc so seo is your search engine optimization those are on the page things that you do to get the search engines to like you and understand what you're about paid search are ways for you to be put immediately in front of a particular group of individuals that might be searching for your product and they do both work together quite nicely so again, I think you're all familiar with the search engine results page. On the right-hand side and at the top is where you will typically see your paid search listings, but not always at the top. And we'll talk about what causes somebody to go to the top. And on the left-hand side is where you see the organic natural listings. The purpose are, are different for each of these. For SEO, your purpose of SEO is to appear as near the top as possible and search results for keywords. You're going to target general terms to get the most traffic. Uh, you do lack control to a certain extent over how you rank as much as we try to control it and not always able to do that. And the traffic is free, but the quality does depend upon your keywords and your resulting rankings within these search engines. On paid search, Again, what you're trying to do there is instantly attract qualified prospects and leads to your website, most likely to convert them, but not always. It could be to relay um, recall information. So, for example, Toyota with the braking issue a few years ago, um, it took them about three or four days before they did jump into a paid search campaign because they realized they needed to get information in front of people that were looking for information on the braking recall. So they really needed to jump into paid search to ensure there were no problems with people finding that information on the web. Here you're going to target more specific keywords because, again, you're paying for the traffic that's coming to the website. So you want to make sure it's, it's, it's traffic that you want. 
SEO describes a diverse set of activities that you can perform to increase the amount of targeted traffic that comes to your website. It includes things you do to the site yourself, such as changes to text or the HTML code or tags. It includes also communicating directly with, let's say, Google or Bing, um, and also requesting links with other sites, but not doing it in a spammy sort of way, which we'll talk about. Again, you're also do some research and competitive review here as a part of the SEO work effort. You want to always pay attention to what your competitors are doing. It's not really advertising or public relations. Its purpose is really to gain targeted visitors to your, your site and specific pages of your site. Again, why is it important that we pay attention to SEO? Because there's many studies out here. Here's one of the latest that um, I've found and I like, which basically shows if you are on page one, of Google organic search and position one of page one, then you receive 33% of all the clicks that are gonna be generated for that particular search query. So when you type in a search query, if you're in that number one spot of all the clicks that are gonna happen as a result of that search query, you're getting one third of them. If you're in position two, it drops down to about 18%, etc. cetera. So with this neat little report, you could, let's say you're in position five, so you could easily see what it would mean by moving and you get X number of conversions. However, if you move to position one, that's going to drastically increase your conversions. You can actually calculate the increase in conversions where you're at now, if you're in position five to where you would, how many you would get if you go to position one, figure out what that would mean in terms of revenue. And then could you afford an SEO person to help you get to that particular spot? Would it be worth it? So kind of a nice little report for you guys to take a look at.